Now that we're all amazing people capable of disguising ourselves beautifully, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the Marsden Apartments and see if we can steal some fat loot, folks. With our partial disguises, you can see that our Death Squad uniform is yellow here instead of green. Which, like I said, means it's a partial disguise. If we fail our disguise check, um, since we have such shitty stuff, we'll fail that fucking too. We're going to be called out for trespassing, so they're going to go immediately to alerted. But the fact that you could even go into apartments and consider to be, be blended into the situation, very fucking handy. I belong here, members of the death squad, looking for trouble. Super cool, we're uh, acquisitioning funds for the arts conservative cause. To turn America into a covert yet backwards nightmare. We're gonna repeal the Constitution. Ronald Reagan will be king for all of eternity. Lol. <laughs> Have a nice day, everyone. Now I gotta make sure I don't get too cocky here again. I know I do have partial disguises and I'm trained to disguise skill. There's always a chance I could fail the roll. Whenever that happens, I need to GTFO, because my characters aren't that good at dodge, and they surely as hell aren't good with any weapons. So I need to not fuck this up. It's a learning process. Learning process. Still acting natural, dum de dums de 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 doos And of course, you know, while we're here... Or we're continuing to train up our disguise skill. Very handy, that. Of course, you know, Pariah here is going to take forever. And as soon as, you know, he gets to ten, that's the most disguise he'll be able to have for now until he gains another uh, level on the liberal cause. Which won't be for him until 500 juice. And because he isn't earning any juice right now, that might not be for a while. It's also worth noting that in 4.04, it is actually more difficult to get to 1,000 juice by fisty cuffs. You can't do that so readily. That's another thing that was changed. I don't think I've made that clear yet. So you got to be more diverse in your capabilities. Kudos to uh, <laughs> the open source folks who changed that. So I can't just press press F for victory actually have to diversify my portfolio. We're on level three of the building right now. We raided three floors entirely. The conservatives are definitely suspicious. How are we looking for juice levels? I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Let's not get carried away. Could backfire. Let's just walk out. Woohoo! $85. Uh-oh. Well, there was a sneeze coming on, and it had decided to come off. The end. <laughs> Good story. Go back to the Marsden Department. Hello! I'm here again. Have you filled your apartments with more stuff for me to steal? On these first three floors all over again? Appreciate it, buddies. You're all good friends. Yay, good friends, yay. Give me your silverwares, huggles. I'm gonna hug with your silverwares, and then I'm gonna steal, sell it to the pawn shop, lols. Oh, they're suspicious. And I'm not doing a good job of piloting the squad here. Sooner or later, there will be a failed roll. Will I be prepared for it? Are you fucking kidding me? Of course not. I just gotta prepare to fucking book it. Not book him, Dano, but book it the fuck out of here. GTF Owen. Oh, Art, you okay? I know, I know, we had some some caffeine earlier, bro, and some sugar. Relax, we're playing Liberal Crime Squad right now. I know it's tense for you. Oh, if I die while recording videos for the internet, that would be kind of awkward. <laughs> Presuming the video somehow gets uploaded to the internet still. <laughs> like my fucking mom finds my computer two weeks after the fact. Like, wow, it's been recording for that long? <laughs> yes, 
My mom is going to continue my hobby for me in my absence. That would be an interesting thing to see as a ghost. So, my mom has decided to become a Let's Player. That's great. <laughs> wow, Mom. I know my friends all said you were cool, but this takes the cake. You're awesome. I mean, I know there are folks out there who do this hobby for the internet that have children, but... I mean, imagine your mom doing it. Well, you were doing it. That'd be amazing. Co-op commentary. Keeping it all in the family. <laughs> I I don't know where that train of thought came from. <laughs> I have a lot of moments like those. Actually, I do. I kind of just remembered it all. And getting back to the point about me dying. Let's not do that. Not when I'm so wonderfully and beautifully disguised. Hope I didn't jinx that. Just in case I did, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Run! Runsville. How are we looking here? Okay, steal 35 more items. And Sean here will be good to go on all the juice we can get from loot. And from there, folks, uh, I'll have to work on some other capabilities. I might actually not train dodge and martial arts out in the field. Especially since it's much harder to get to 1,000 juice that way. I think I might take these folks to college classes instead. That'll involve getting some money. Folks, money's not a problem right now. I'll be good. Okay, let's go ahead and steal these, uh... Oh man, Mars and apartments are at high security, you bastards. It's like you know I keep targeting you folks to steal from you. How did you figure it out? What's the secret? Dum de dum. What was that? Uh, damaged black suit. Okay. Dogs are barking outside. Not my dogs, though. And there's a window and some distance in the way, so I'm pretty sure the microphone won't pick that up. And again, it's hard, for, apparently, for some of you folks to hear the train that passes anyway. I think it's because I talk so loud that you folks listen to me at a low speaker volume. If you, like, listen to me at full blast, not only would you be deaf, but you'd be able to hear the train. Because <laughs> this microphone can certainly pick it up. Not the baby trains, but the big trains. The kind of train I'd choke slam for breakfast. I didn't know that was a service option for food. Choke slamming trains for breakfast. Oh, honey, what do you feel like eating today? I feel like eating a choke slam train. Really? I have that right in the refrigerator. Let's just put it in the microwave. <laughs> put it in the toaster or something. <laughs> One choke slam train for breakfast coming right up. Yeah, and I'd like an orange juice with that too, please. Yes, sir. The customer is always right. Except when he's a fucking dumbass. But you can't tell the customer that he's a dumbass. Even though he'll probably never shop there again, you still can't tell the customer that he's a dumbass. Even if he's obviously the dumbest motherfucker you've ever spoken with the entire day. I won't say the end of your entire life, because every day there's always a dumbest motherfucker. <laughs> it's true. Qualifying statement right there. I guess it depends on... Where you spend your days. <laughs> some day, or some places have uh, fewer dumb motherfuckers to deal with than others. I mean, like, if you work for yourself, if you're like a freelance dude, the dumbest motherfucker you ever deal with, have to deal with is your client. But if you work at, like, an actual retail, if you work at, like, a business, it's amazing. Whenever I got off college, like, I really didn't do a whole lot of jobs uh, working stuff until I got out of college. I was that fortunate enough. Living that kind of situation. And the conservatives are alarmed again. I told you I'd eventually fail one of these roles, folks. Let's just go ahead and evade. Oh, shit. Well, you know, story time, I think, is over, folks. Uh... <laughs> oh... Do I ditch the car? What's all my agility's at here?
23, 16, 15, 15, 13, 17. Do I ditch the car? Ditching the car is a free action. It'll put us all out on foot. I'll lose the car. We all have a good chance of escaping. My driving skill is over seven. Considering what I know of the death squad officers, we have a good chance of escaping from them if I drive away even my, my little bug. If I try to run away instead of drive away, Priya will almost certainly escape. And I think Sean, Matthew, Aaron, and Bart will be safe. I think 13 agility is really risking it, though. Uh, but if I fail to successfully drive away from these guys, I could get the entire squad killed. On the other hand, as a member of the Liberal Crime Squad, I'm supposed to be fucking crazy. I'm glad story time got derailed. This is an interesting problem for me to mull over. I told you, though. I'm an oracle! It's pretty fucking simple to realize that sooner or later you're gonna get a roll that doesn't go in your favor. If you can get a roll that doesn't go in your favor, one of the di those times, you will get a roll that doesn't go in your favor. It's even as stupid as winning the lottery. If you roll enough times... <laughs> the odds aren't zero, so give it enough chances, it can happen. Hence the poor tax. Okay. If only I could be more sure about this. I hope we get a good driving roll. I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. It's a shame I was all the way on the third floor when this happened, though. Mm. Let's do it. You keep the glit gas floored. Death squad officer falls behind. Death squad officer backs off for safety. Death squad officer falls behind. Looks like you've lost them. <laughs> and on that note, folks, I think we're done with this video. Whoo! Not everyone has 200 juice, but I think that's a decent time to end the video. See you all next time.